Dormammu's lair is near. Focus the energy from the crystals to destroy his enchanted barrier. We can't delay. Dormammu's shield must be broken. We can absorb their attacks with the crystals and redirect the energy at the barrier. We'll need more crystals to destroy the barrier. Luckily, the mindless ones are bringing them right to us. Beginning to weaken. the barrier. Nowhere left to hide now, Dormammu. Accustomed to chaos, but this realm makes even my head spin. You know, I'm suddenly kind of glad I didn't have those tacos after all, because I'd probably be spewing them back into my mask about now. Darkness for you and all of 
reality.
see that coming. Keep it up. What a dreadful debacle this devolved into. Oh, it still stands strong. It has merely been temporarily trumped by the megalithic magician and his flaming facade. Indeed, a fortuitous finding we could never have anticipated upon arriving in this dismal dimension. I am excited to examine it upon returning. Calm your concerns, comrade. This Sapphire Scientist has friends with formidable facilities all over our world, and on countless others. You cannot destroy the darkness. 
He's right, you know. Dormammu feeds off this dimension's endless arcane energies. He can't die in this place. But we most definitely can. And if Dormammu spills this black magic into our world, he would be unstoppable there, too. Of course, without the Reality Stone, he can't merge our dimensions together. And without the darkness to fuel him, he wouldn't last long. So, if I can open a portal back to our plane of existence, perhaps we can take the stone somewhere safe. <gasps> or at least, somewhere safer than this. We came here to escape the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world would we ever truly hope to find peace. So, tell us, my dear sister. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us. We stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... So do they. choice. Mission accepted. I like the way you think. Something bothering you, friend? Don't mind my sister. She can be a bit stubborn, but Medusa's heart is always in the right place. Once she understands what's at stake, she'll come around. It's the king you have to worry about. Let's just say Black Bolt gave Adelan's last uninvited guests a free tour of the moon. Without oxygen masks. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? 
Lucky for you, he's in a good mood today. I think. He's a bit hard to read since he doesn't talk. But you'll probably be fine. For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We know of these stones. And the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adeline in jeopardy. Such recklessness is typical of your kind. That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. I... cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. There you go, 
big guy. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you are lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. Oh, hey there! How are you doing? Because I'm currently hanging out on the moon with the inhuman royal family, and I'm totally trying not to freak out. Well, yeah, but I'm an inhuman who lives in Jersey City. These are inhumans who live on the moon. There's a big difference. Not that I know of, but I do have their poster on my bedroom wall. Because I have school and the commute from the moon to Jersey kinda stinks. Ooh, unless they're willing to loan me lockjaw on weekdays. I'll get right on it. You know, once our current universe-shattering dilemma is all wrapped up. Sorry about all the craziness here. Family, am I right? They're a bit intense, but they mean well. Blackbolt and Medusa do whatever it takes to keep Adelan safe. Even if it means they sometimes forget about everyone else. I didn't, really. Sure, I may be a bit more willing to reach out and help my fellow heroes, but at the end of the day, I'm still an inhuman. We'll always stand together. Yeah, well, there is that. My deepest apologies. Adalon was built to be a safe haven. Alpha Primitives. They were subclass of the inhuman race, performing labor and other menial tasks. That is a harsh way of putting it. The Alpha Primitives merely do what they were designed to do. I have my suspicions, but I dare not believe them. Salutations, my tenacious teammate. Merely a hypothesis, but having the progeny of our nemesis as an ally could prove advantageous. Indeed. In fact, it might become more beneficial in our quest than you can currently comprehend. Of course, I will need to run an in-depth analysis. Fear not. I once collaborated with the Inhumans to evaluate the effects of their Terrigen Mist on my fellow mutants. Much of my equipment is still here in Atalan. Performing scientific studies on the moon isn't work. It's my furry blue dream come true. How can I help you? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact. Seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orlon. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me. I had no choice but to flee here. 
only legends, and none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly, though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Somewhere safe. I'll try to rest and... No. Nowhere in Ottoman is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind. Again. Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> I'll use my armor to shield Gorgon from further damage. You focus on the Alpha Primitives. I should have known you were behind this, Maximus. Only you could dare betray all this. Level up. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? Ah, the silent treatment, as always. But I'll give you something to talk about. Just a wait. Yeah. took the throne. Humans are the closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter, but I guess this is my battle now. This isn't the first time Maximus has tried to claim the throne from his brother. Not even close. The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. Still, mad or not, he is family. We refuse to give up on him, even if he refuses to change his ways. 